When Mark Wetmore envisioned his future as a distance coach, he knew where he wanted to be. The running mecca and mountains of Colorado. So he quit his job in New Jersey, packed up his belongings, and moved across the country to Boulder in 1992. His determination initially landed him a stint as a volunteer assistant in charge of the University of Colorado's men's distance athletes. Three years later, Wetmore was in charge of the whole program, and a stampede of success followed. Eight cross-country national championships. In 2004, the bus became only the third program in NCAA meet history to sweep the men's and women's national team titles. Wetmore later led the men to back-to-back -to -back national championships in 2013 and 2014. Wetmore also holds the distinction as the only D1 cross-country coach to win all four NCAA titles at the same school. That's the men and women's team titles and the men's and women's individual titles. The Buffs run equally impressive at the conference level, winning more than 30 league crowns and numerous individual titles while competing in both the Big 12 and Pac-12. In fact, Wetmore was the winningest Big 12 coach in all sports when CU left the league in 2011. Add in the track accolades, and CU men and women have combined to win 27 NCAA individual titles, including five by Jenny Berenger, the 2009 Bowerman winner, one of a dozen Wetmore athletes to run in the Olympic Games, and 14 buffs have been on the line for world championship races. Tonight, we salute the exceptional career of Mark Wetmore, USTF, CCCA, Coaches Hall of Fame, Class of 2022. Thank you all. Thank you to the association, Sam Seams, to the committee that invited me here tonight. Those of you who are acquainted with me know that I am indisposed to gatherings of more than one. I'm uncomfortable with limelight, celebrity, flamboyance, brash talk, Thankfully, the University of Colorado has recently hired somebody who can handle that for us. So many, of people, so many people have helped me in my 50 years, it would be impossible to list them all. I'll mention a few people tonight that I must acknowledge or thank, some of whom you've never heard of. First, though, I'll speak mostly to the senior citizens in this room, a little bit to the rest. When I was 14, I went to one of the very first summer track camps in America. Obviously, it was not for elite or talented athletes. They showed films at night on a sheet in the cafeteria old handheld black and white eight millimeter kind of home movies. One of those movies was just on a single athlete, on an anchor leg of a relay. No one else in the frame, just one runner at the pen relays. Raging around the track, those bricks you already saw them tonight, those bricks flying backwards. Sub 44 seconds, 440 yards, almost 60 years ago, the first time I was compelled, captured by an athletic performance. So I have to thank the mighty burner, Larry James. I had a great family, parents and sister that supported me the whole way, always seemed to believe in me, even when it didn't look so promising. I had an inspiring high school coach. Very few of you would have heard of him. His name is Ed Mather. 
He made us believe that we trained harder than any other team, and yet he made it fun every day. He taught us to expect to be good, which remains a foundational tenet of my coaching work still. Ed Mather also invited me into the coaching world. I was still a teenager, just 18. He offered me a summer job after school, excuse me, after dinner, nights in the summer, little hometown junior Olympic eight through 14 year old children. One of those children is here tonight, Peter Carroll. Elderly gentleman at that table over there. <laughs> Sometime later, a family moved to town from another town in New Jersey. Tenth grade boy was a pretty good runner. Got to know the family. They became friends. Father became a better friend and a better friend and finally a mentor, huge supporter. Thirty years. Only a very few of you, maybe some people from back east a long time ago, would have ever heard of Larry Sullivan. I was unable to go to his memorial ceremony. He would have understood. I had a number of athletes at the U.S. Championship that year in California, 3,000 miles away. But from what I heard, person after person stood to speak and said approximately the same thing. He was my best friend. I hope someday I can be as good a friend to somebody. Thank you, John Moon. He's not here today, but class of 21, Hall of Fame 21, gave me my first job in college coaching at Seton Hall. John had a compliment, somewhat disguised, that he used for people who had a remarkable performance, which I must admit I have stolen. I guess you say sampled these days when you take somebody else's work. I sampled it. John would, have a, John would see somebody have a good performance and he would say, ah, you might not turn out so horrible after all. <laughs> John, I hope you feel I haven't turned out so horrible after all. I have to acknowledge Jerry Quiller, Rich Cardillo, Bill Marolt, who hired me at Colorado in 1992. I'd like to thank all of the athletic administrations since then, including the current one. Without their support, without their resources, our expectations are for naught. And I must admit, I presume I'm a little difficult for athletic administrators. I don't dress like Bear Bryant. I don't sound like John Wooden. I don't have meetings, I don't have banquets, I don't even give a Rudy Award. So basically, I don't do anything right. <laughs> it must be occasionally for them trying. I'd like to thank my current staff. They're at a big table there, help me every single day. And so many friends, so many, many friends, a room full of friends. It's a surprise to me to end up with so many friends in this trade who have helped me and encouraged me along the way, without whom I think I'd be in a plywood shack writing manifestos with a carpenter pencil. <laughs> Nothing good that's happened to me in the last 25 years would have happened without my spouse, partner, confessor, anchor, Heather Burroughs, thank you, Heather. I love you. <laughs> Lastly, but also firstly, sincerely, I have to thank all the beautiful young people who have trusted me with their talent and their dreams. Good night.